Hey there everybody, it's me, Josh. I'm back again. Um, before I get into the main part of this video, I want to show you guys something that just came in the mail for me. And it is a Integrity Nude Katie Keen doll. Uh, I don't know what her official title is, like what her gown name was or anything, but she came to me nude. I got her off of eBay for an incredible price. Uh, so yeah, I, I absolutely love her. She came with her extra hands. She came with these hands and another pair of hands. She has a beautiful face, no damage. Her hair is still in the original set. And then she has really nice, thick black hair. And she even has some jewelry. And I just want to show her show her off to you guys real quick. Okay, so main part of this video is we're going to discuss molding. Um, I know a lot of you have seen the shoes and dolls and stuff, I or doll stuff I make with um, resin and whatnot. But I'm going to show you again on the molding. Now, to do a silicone mold, which is the best option, I use from a company called Tap plastics tap i use this stuff and it's called platinum silicone by tap plastic for the price which is around 42 dollars i think you get both of these they're not 42 each they're 42 for the pair and it's equal parts so you use part a or side a base a base b pour in equal amounts and then it you have a 15 minute working time, which means you you have 15 minutes to pour it, mix it, or mix it, and then um, pour it into your mold. And then after that, about 20, 15 to 20 minutes, it starts to set up. And then after that, you wanna give it, depending, like if it's cooler, like it's been here, cause it last week was all in the 90s and now it's like cool, way cooler. The, it depends on the temperature. If it's a warmer atmosphere, if you're in a warmer place, not humid, just warm, it's gonna set up in about two, maybe three hours. But if it's cooler like it's been here in Northern California, it's gonna take between four to seven hours to set up, especially if you're in a room that's air conditioned or if it's really moist outside because it's been raining. Um, so yeah, this is the number one choice. It's expensive. The molds will last for, gosh, if you were making something like a pair of shoes, you could use that mold probably 100, a couple hundred times per pair. And then the mold's dead and you have to throw it away. That is great for this. This is great for that. And this is soup. This will capture insane detail, like the tiniest little thing this will pick up on so you want to make really sure that your what you're casting in is cl is clean the shoe is clean you want to wash it off beforehand and then before you glue it down i this is what i do i spray it down with some um rubbing alcohol and then i let it air dry and then i build a base and when i say a base this is this is the best way to do it you can either use um, smooth cardboard like uh, packaging um, as long as it's nice and thick and you don't want just brown cardboard because it's super absorbent and you'll end up just losing a lot of your um, your silicone to it uh, i use old cd cases and i will build a box so you need I use my I have a glass desktop so I'll just build the the I'll build the base on top of my glass desktop because I just peel it off and then you need a good hot glue gun and you have to put down a line make a box for your sil for your silicone and then you're gonna you want to make sure you you do not want to skimp on the glue on the hot glue you want to make sure that there are no cracks there are no nothing there's no holes anywhere for any of the silicone to escape from your mold you do not want to have anything escape your mold uh, if you're doing something small i have been using cups and what i do is i will glue it, this is where the glue gun comes in handy too you'll get the shoe you want to make say like you want to make a copy of i don't know, like this monster high shoe you put, uh, you fill up the bottom of it. You fill it, you just fill in the square there with hot glue, stick it to the bottom of the cup, let it harden. 
and then you pour your silicone over it and the silicone will capture every little detail on this however if you are making this if you are making a mold of an open toe shoe it's going to go in here and in here and it's going to fill up the shoe this part open part will become a pain in the butt because you're not going to the mold of course will, you'll have to figure out how to pull it out pull the original shoe out and you're going to end up wrecking your mold that's why i always make uh closed toed shoes and if i want to make them open toe if i want to make them open toe what i do then before anything i'll fill this part here up with hot glue i'll just put uh, i'll put like a bead over it make sure i fill it up to make it a closed toe then i'll mold it when i get it all done and i pour the silicone and it's hardened and i'm ready to pour the resin after i after everything is cured i will pull the shoe out and then i will use my dremel and i will hollow out the part where i put the hot glue that way it will be open toe again so that's what i use i use tap plastic platinum silicone this is the best stuff you can buy the other silicone from them and it's this blue based it's this really thick blue silicone that works but the problem with it is is you have to have a vacuum chamber with that and the vacuum chamber is so when you're pouring the silicone and it's curing it will create there will be air bubbles released inside and if you if there's air bubbles inside of the silicone as it's curing around the thing you're making you're going to end up with bubbles around the item that you're molding the platinum silicone is a self-leveling silicone which means that as it is curing it will pop its own bubbles so you don't have to worry about your about your mold getting damaged you don't have to worry about it falling apart you don't have to worry about any of that it will self-level and it will pop all of its own bubbles that being said this is the expensive route well all of this is kind of expensive but once you have your stuff it's really easy and you, you learn and you could you work ways around it so that's the stuff i use the other stuff i use and this is something i recently discovered i got this at michael's and it's called amazing remelt the small container like this is $19.99. There is a large container. This is a this is the I think this is like the half pound one and the other one is a pound. Anyway, this one's $19.99, the big one's $34.99. It's still expensive, but this stuff, which is this red cube, as you see here, you put it in your microwave or a double boiler and you melt it and you get it to 140 degrees and it'll melt down and then you pour it over whatever item you're working with you want to make sure whatever you're using can withstand heat uh, monster high shoes do perfectly fine but anything like fabric based or anything that has a lot of glue um, you're going to end up either it's either going to fall apart or whatnot and this the downside to this one is once you make something with it and you like pull the original item out and you make your new product out of it you after you pour the resin in um, sometimes you end up destroying the mold so you'll have to like you'll have to make it again which isn't a problem because this stuff after you heat it up and then you pour the mold I always put it in the refrigerator or the freezer and it doesn't have any effect on it I, it will just make it harden faster and it's once it's done it's really flexible it's really tough but it holds the thing it holds the it holds the shape and it makes nice mold but it's not it's nowhere near as de detailed as platinum silicone but it does work it's good for uh, first timers and whatnot I think but if you have experience use the platinum silicone um, it just works better and you'll be happier I think in the long run so yeah, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. If there's any questions, feel free to ask me anything you want. I love to be able to teach and help people with their doll hobby, especially if you want to learn how to make stuff for yourself, for your dolls. You know, it's always better to give out that knowledge and then just instead of holding it into yourself and letting it go to waste. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys have learned something. 
I hope it's helped. Oh, yeah. Well, um, I, you guys saw in the last time when I got my very first MC Square dolls. And I got the one that uses the molds that came with molds to make butterfly wings. These are the butterfly wings I made. And the instructional said you're supposed to use uh, Elmer's glue to make earrings. But I ended up making fairy wings. You probably can't see it, but there's actually holographic stars I put inside. <laughs> and they're, they're pretty hard. Um, if you want to make jewelry out of them, though, they break apart fairly easy. They're, there's, like, mark lines, so you can do that. Make the earrings that go with your MC Square thing. And you can use the mold again. Oh, and with silicone and resin, always use silicone molds. They work the best. Um, you just can't use them for food. That's the other thing with this red stuff. This is food safe. So if you want to make a mold out of, like, a... like, If you want to get make a mold out of this little mini Barbie... You can make you can make a mold of her, and then you could turn like pour chocolate into the mold and make a little chocolate Barbie. So this is food safe. This stuff not food safe. This will poison you if you make food in it. This stuff not. So yeah, this one's plant based. This one's chemical. So yeah, there you guys go. All right, I love you. If there's any questions you have, feel free to ask me.